Hi. Uh, thank you all for coming. This isn't going to take very long. Uh, I would have preferred not to be doing this because uh, usually FBI investigations are kept confidential. And in all my years of doing this, which is more than I'd like to admit, as many of you know, I've never participated in talking publicly about an FBI investigation we were, we were familiar with. So very, th what I want to talk about very briefly today is sort of respond to what I consider so this breathless coverage right now. And I'm not complaining about it again, but I'm just simply saying there's really nothing new that has been happening in this case for four months. In April, the FBI came to us and told us that they were investigating a matter as to whether one of Mr. Busby's clients had committed extortion in the way they were demanding money from Deshaun or what they would do if he didn't pay them. Uh, we talked to them. We were not the ones who contacted them. They contacted us. Uh, we talked to them. We even let them interview Deshaun. And if y'all can find a lawyer would let his client talk to the FBI, if the, if the lawyer thought his client had done anything wrong or had any exposure, uh, then uh, I'll be very, very surprised. So we've kept that confidential. They, of course, would not be informing us of the investigation and where it stood. I don't know where it stands today. Uh, they have no obligation to be telling us that. And we haven't asked them. If we had relevant information and they asked, we would share it with them, and that was it. It never occurred to us, no matter how it might have been to our advantage to tell the public, that the FBI was investigating one of Mr. Busby's clients' claims and the way they went about it. Never occurred to us to go public with that. That would interfere with the FBI's investigation, and it wouldn't be appropriate. Until yesterday, I did not know that they were also apparently, and I, I don't have reason to doubt this now, they were apparently uh, also investigating Mr. Busby's allegations. But I'm glad to hear they are. I wasn't aware of it, but we wouldn't be aware of it. They wouldn't tell us that they shouldn't. They're conducting a private investigation. And I'm delighted they are, as I say, because we want everything to come out. And so Mr. Busby, and, and by the way, this thing of sexual trafficking that everybody's talking about, that's nothing new. Mr. Busby talked about it in one of his petitions that he filed and made the allegation. So if the FBI is going to investigate whether Mr. Busby, one of Mr. Busby's clients, is trying to extort money and, and committing illegal acts, they're certainly going to want to be able to tell the public later, if there is an outcome of charges or something, that they looked at both sides and that they looked at the allegations of the other side as well as allegations of extortion. So I welcome the investigation to look into all of it. We will continue to cooperate with them in any way they want. We have from the first co cooperated with the Houston Police Department, cooperated with the District Attorney's Office, and we'll cooperate with the FBI, and ultimately, down the line, we'll cooperate with the NFL because we know Deshaun has done absolutely nothing wrong. And I, I, the reason I say I didn't want to be here for this is, is that these kind of things should not be worked out in the public. They should be privately conducted so that innocent people are not harmed. But I do want to make sure everybody understands. If Mr. Busby continues to put his clients out, presenting them to, to, uh, uh, to Sports Illustrated, who, by the way, if we want to talk about agendas, the Sports Illustrated reporter that keeps writing about this, at one time in an email to me, referred to Deshaun's as yet unproven innocence which reflects sort of an attitude. But regardless of that, uh, they, he keeps putting these people out there and then uh, uh, having people say different things that we know we have documents for are untrue. We're going to be forced to respond. We have tried as hard as we could to not be trying this in the public domain. That is not exactly the way it's supposed to be done. I do want to serve notice that if people lie to the FBI, that's a felony. So I urge you, if they contact you, to tell them the truth, whatever that is. We do not want to get in the way of anybody expressing themselves about this. The whole reason there was never even settlement or discussions or Mr. Busby wanted something is we have insisted from the beginning that everything be public, except private investigations. I can only conclude that Mr. Busby's knowledge of the criminal justice system and the way it's worked 
probably if you put it in a thimble, there would be a lot of room left. What he's done here is harmed his clients and harms investigations that need to be confidential. But when he chooses to go public like this, then he better be sure his clients are telling the truth. And let me give you an example. I have here that I wanted to call to your attention, and then I'm through. If you remember, the whole, the whole tone of these issues changed in March. There was a, first there was a lawsuit uh, by a woman named Ms. Solis. Then there was another lawsuit. And the third lawsuit, for the first time, alleged some type of force and very, very descriptive language as to how mortified she was and how upset she was. The woman's name is Shanae Lawson. Shanae Lawson is not a woman that has made a criminal complaint, but she's certainly sued. And if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you look at her petition, it is very graphic as to how horrible this experience was and how she was harmed. She is the woman that is being looked at as far as an investigation for federal authorities and how she went about this. But let me just read to you. If you look at that petition, I'm going to read to you text messages that she sent to Sean Watson the very day after the massage that she says so traumatized her and that she's talked to people about. Hey to Sean, the, the, uh, the massage was that morning. Hey to Sean, just wanted to say thank you for trusting me with your massage today. I'll be here till January the 3rd if you'd like to get another one. And I urge you to go look at that petition and see if that email, or text rather, is consistent with her petition. And then, I don't have a date on it because it's not it. It's going to be after that one, probably the same day, could be the next day. She writes him on a text, I hope all is well. I just want to say, I apologize for my actions. That was not me. And if I could take back that moment, I would. I really devalued my integrity and profession. My sessions have never went like that. I feel really horrible as a person. This is the woman that later in a lawsuit alleges that he forced her to have oral sex. And then she very descriptive about how horrible the experience was. And then she writes him, Hey, Deshaun, I know you're probably busy, but can you scan me the executed copy of the original NDA, Non-Disclosure Act, you have via email? Also, I wanted to ask you to know if you're interested in a follow-up call to make sure we're on the same page about a gang plan moving forward. Now, that's just one of the 22. It is the first that alleged force. And I suggest to you, it is demonstrably untrue. And Mr. Busby is not doing her or anyone else any favors to start going public about FBI investigations because the initial SBI investigation was of this woman. We don't talk about these things because they're not fair to people. But I do want to serve notice to everyone. If you decide to continue to make these comments publicly, instead of working with law enforcement as you should, then we can always respond. And the truth is not going to be your friend. I hope that everybody will just back up and relax now and realize orderly investigations are going on. Houston Police Department, we've given them information. I'm sure Mr. Busby's people have, and they are diligently investigating. I've met once with the district attorney's office, just with the woman who's in charge, and she is the chief of the human trafficking division. That doesn't mean they are contending there is human trafficking going on. That's who she is. Mr. Busby's made that allegation. I'm sure the FBI will look into it. But at the end of the day, we're going to continue to cooperate with her. She's assured me that they would be fair and they would be open-minded to both sides and that they will treat both sides respectfully. And I take her at her word. The police has said the same thing. The FBI has said the same thing. I take them all at their word. And they need to be left to look at these things 
in a very confidential and careful professional way. Going out and talking about this stuff does no one any good. I remain absolutely irrevocably convinced that Sean Watson did nothing illegal or improper. And I'm confident that all of those investigations will show that. But I do believe we just should leave law enforcement to their professional duties rather than constantly having these press conferences and stuff. I didn't want to be here, but I am not going to let this stuff go unchallenged. But I do want everybody to take a breach. Sometimes I feel like, and then I'm through. I feel like Rodney King to a side side. Can't we all get along? And my version would be not can we all get along? Can we all just calm down? This is nothing new about this. One final thing. Some of you got excited, or not some of y'all, but some people got excited about grand jury subpoenas going out. That is standard. We have known from the beginning, and the prosecutor has told us from the beginning, that ultimately when their, their investigation is over, their findings will be presented to a grand jury. We will be given the opportunity to appear, I mean, to put whatever evidence we want in, to tell our side, and we will get an even-handed hearing. So there's... The FBI interviews and conducts investigations thousands on an annual basis, and ultimate charges are in a very small number. So the fact that somebody's investigating something means nothing more than they're investigating, trying to make sure there wasn't a crime. I urge everybody, just take a deep breath, let it run its course. I promise you, nothing's different today than it was four months ago, except they were learning a lot more and we'll await their, their verdict. I appreciate y'all showing up. Uh, I'll take a couple of questions, but, 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 but not much. Rusty, just to clarify, the, your awareness of the FBI also potentially investigating um, Deshaun, uh, that's based solely on Tony's comments? You're not, I, no, you're not I, 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 yeah, I, I don't think they're investigating Deshaun. Yeah. What they are investigating is, is the allegations Busby has made in his lawsuits. I didn't, as I said, I didn't know about that until yesterday, uh, and then I checked it out. That's true, they are, but I wasn't supposed to know. But, but what I, I, this, this is the thing that makes me uncomfortable. To say somebody is investigating whether certain events occurred or did not, or whether they're investigating, say they're investigating somebody who has a dog in the hunts uh, version, does not mean they're investigating necessarily the person that's being, they may, but that's not my sense. My sense is Mr. Busby and his clients have made allegations. They're investigating those allegations. But that doesn't mean that they believe or, or, or think or are trying to see if Deshaun is guilty of something. They want to know what happened. Then they can talk to lawyers and decide whether that is something improper against the law. It's that process that I'm totally comfortable with. So, Rusty, earlier you pointed out that the FBI made an inquiry about the claims from Ms. Lawson uh, of a possible extortion claim. Yes. And then, and then later on, you just you said yesterday you found out that now they're investigating Busby's claims. Are the is it your understanding that these are separate investigations, the same investigation, and and so that's one part. And then also, would would you also be representing Deshaun in a in, in another claim from the FBI as well, if, if, if there was a, until, a criminal side to this? Until I get fired, I'm representing them at everything having to do with this, okay? Uh, good question. I, I, my sense is, but look, the FBI is not going to tell me anymore. They're telling y'all, all right? They're not going to conduct, they're going to, if you go to them, they're going to say we will neither confirm nor deny. That's what they always do. And until Busby started doing this, all of us in the private sector don't say anything about it either, because it's not to anyone's advantage to talk about it or even, or, or even say that it happened, all right? Busby's conduct here, you, you have to understand what's happening. When he goes a month without y'all putting him in the paper, he just almost wilts, okay? And, and until he has, until y'all give him some coverage, he, when he goes a month without it, it, that's what happens. What he does is he comes out when, and he wants to leverage his civil lawsuits. He wants out of those civil lawsuits. He knows those lawsuits have no future in the long run. But he wants to be out there and promote himself in the lawsuits and, and try to get Deshaun to settle them, to pay them the money so he can ride into the sunset. Now, I don't quarrel with people covering or anything, but what I'm saying simply is, if you guys shut down, and nobody heard Tony Busby's name or said it for 30 days, 
there would be a new allegation and a new piece of information he shouldn't be talking about in order to gin it back up. What I'm saying is I would like to avoid having to respond to every one of those, but if people are lying and putting it publicly, we're going to have to do it on behalf of Deshaun, and I'm urging him to take a vacation, go back on another honeymoon, quit doing all this. It's not good for your clients. It's truly not, because every time they talk publicly, they say things that are contrary to what there's documentary evidence of, and we want to do that, present that in a courtroom, uh, and we hope that he'll calm down a little bit. I'm not confident that he will, but he needs to be careful because he's not helping these folks. Has Deshaun spoken to the NFL investigative team yet? And if not, what is the timeline? No, for good, good question about the NFL. The, the question was, uh, has Deshaun talked to the NFL? And I should have repeated the other two questions I, because I'm not sure anybody following it live stream got it. Um, and I wanted to keep this short and I'm already over, but I'll, I'll try to answer that question. Um, I think the NFL's gotten a bad rap publicly about this thing, and I'd say this with some reservations because I don't want the NFL to think I'm trying to cuddle up to them because they may reach a conclusion down the line we disagree with and we'll be fighting with them. So I don't, I don't want them to misunderstand. But here's where they've gotten a bad rap. They're doing their own sort of investigation that we're totally unaware of, not consulted about. Question is, has he talked to them? The answer is no. And here's the reason. The NFL regularly tries to not reach out to the defendant and his lawyers and seek evidence from them until the criminal investigation's over. Historically, and I've run into it, they want to make sure they don't interfere with the criminal investigation. When the criminal investigation is over, then they will do their own separate finishing episode. They have, as y'all know from the media, they have apparently talked to some of the women I have had no contact with the NFL except to call initially and say, whenever the time is appropriate, we will fully cooperate. You let us know. And that's going to be the case. But right now, we're not aware of what they're doing other than what we read in the media. And that's the way it should be. If you talk to any prosecutor or investigator, they don't want the NFL out there, quite frankly, mucking in their case. And the NFL recognizes that. The NFL investigators are former prosecutors. They understand that process. So in due time, we will be interfacing with, with the NFL, but not yet. Okay. I'm going to make this the last one, so make it brilliant. It's got to be brilliant. Is that what? Ah, all right, let me, I just want to make sure I'm clear about that. right, last time, yeah, good question, grand jury subpoenas, he says, have gone out, does that mean that the grand jury is a particular stage, and what's the schedule, is that basically your question? Yeah, whether, yeah, there's a I, I, have no, I have no idea, um, when the grand jury subpoena, you have to remember what happens with grand jury subpoena, in every felony investigation in which the state is seeking information, they will send out grand jury subpoenas for documents, it usually starts with, and they'll, they'll, Peter will go to somebody, please bring so-and-so documents to us. Or you don't have to come down with them, you can get them to us and you don't have to appear. That's the first stage. That's totally natural. Grand jury proceedings and subpoenas, though, are usually secret. I haven't seen these subpoenas, so I don't know what these subpoenas are. Uh, they could be for documents or whatever, but it is a totally normal standard law enforcement process. They send out subpoenas, they interview witnesses, and then they schedule grand jury. One final thing for y'all to understand about grand juries in Texas. There's no special grand jury impaneled on this. We have four sitting at all times. There are a couple on Tuesday and Thursday. There are a couple on Monday and Wednesday. I have no idea what's happened with a grand jury, whether people, there's a, anything's been presented to a grand jury. Those grand juries only sit for 90 days, and then new grand juries come in, and it was on a quarterly basis. So they may, I have no idea what's happening with the grand jury until or unless I'm told by the state. I, it's also, everybody gets excited about the subpoenas. I just want you to know that is a totally normal process. That's why, and finally, my last thing I'm gonna say, and I appreciate y'all coming, Everything about this case from a law enforcement and NFL standpoint 
is being done the way they do it every case in the same pace and the same way. We would love for it to be done as quick as possible, but they understand we are not going to march to our schedule. I appreciate y'all coming and thanks a bunch.